basic mount escape stuff right now. Um, depending on where they are, that's where I'm going to kind of choose and, and pick where I want to do uh, my escape from. Okay, so uh, I'm not going to start with the basic like grab, tuck, and roll because against somebody good, that's really not going to work. Okay, so uh, the one thing that I need to think about when when I get mounted is I got to keep my elbows down and in in a good T-Rex position. The higher he gets, my elbows come out, and now he can start thinking about Americanas, reverse arm bars, arm triangles. If he's really, really good, triangles with his legs, right, where he can start getting stuff, yeah, and even get the arm bars from that top position where I'm stuck in a really bad position, okay? So I need to keep my elbows down to stop him from, from climbing up, okay? Now, really good positions for him is he's gonna stall in a good position just to get me tired, and I'm gonna try to oopa and do my stuff, right? And for him, a good position is like a head and arm. And now from here, he's gonna bring his legs in, and he's gonna bring, he's almost gonna Superman or parachute uh, from there, but at the same time controlling my head and arm. Because now from here, I'm kind of stuck, right? I can't really do much, all right? So that's the position that he's gonna be looking for. So before he gets into a position where he can hunker down, I need to make sure I keep my elbows down to stop his legs from coming up. And even if he does, he's able to come up a little bit, I need to keep my elbows in a strong position, hands up, and then shimmy my way out to get this position, okay? Now, a lot of times people get taught that you just need to oopa, okay? And the closer he is to my, my hips, it's easy for me to bridge or oopa up, right? When I'm here, where I can, I can move, and I can move at that 45 degree angle, which is a little bit better. The problem is I'm still carrying his weight, okay? Uh, and especially if he has that head and arm position here, it's gonna be really hard for me to oopla when he has his legs in, right? And he's, he's got the great lines in, and his hips are down against mine, and I'm in a really bad position with hard for me to breathe, okay? So if I can keep my elbows in, that's, that's gonna be kind of step one, okay? The other thing is, when I originally was taught the mount, I was taught to get to my side, okay? And it's hard, but I can oopa and then get to my side here. The problem is, when I'm here to my side, I'm almost giving my back, okay? And if somebody gives me this much, almost 100% of the time I'm gonna take their back from here. It doesn't matter how good they are, because um, they're already giving it to me. The second thing is there's something called the S mount, where he's halfway mount, halfway on my back, he's gonna keep his leg in, against my stomach, his knees up against my head. Now he's gonna go for that overhook here where he's gonna get a Kimura position or he's gonna control my head here and I'm really in a bad position and I can't really move out of here, right? And somebody with a really good S mount, it sucks more than just being mounted. So you don't wanna give up that position, okay? So the one thing that I do first is as opposed to being flat, I'm just gonna turn my hips over a little bit, right? I don't need to turn that much. And now from here, my elbows are in. Uh, also works good if you're out on the street because from here, if he starts wanting to punch me or something, I can block and I can start bringing him into me to control where I can start doing other things, okay? But it's always good to keep my head off the ground and I'm here. If I start getting in this position, in the self-defense position, he, if he starts punching my head, now I'm getting hit twice, right? I'm getting hit by his, by his fist and his elbow or headbutt and the back of the concrete. So it's like getting hit twice and only get knocked out a lot quicker. So if I stay here in this position, I can kind of control where the fight is. And if he does try to start striking or whatever, I can just come back up here and then control, get that overhook, right? Or even an underhook from here and just keep him down until I can get into a better position, okay? But going back to the mountain escape, I turn my hips a little bit and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build a frame, okay? My form is gonna go right across his waist and my palm is gonna go on that hip, okay? And the frame, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring my shoulder down and I'm bringing my elbow down to my body. So when he tries to come up higher, he's kind of stuck, okay? Now the second thing that I'm gonna do, my other hand that's not across his, his, uh, his waist, I'm gonna put right on top of my hand so I'm, I'm getting double the power and double the push on that hip. So if he tries to put pressure into me, he can't. Now the most important part, 
okay? From here, I'm not just pushing down, I'm gonna push down and I'm gonna bring this elbow to the inside of his knee, just like that, okay? And now when I'm in this position, it's easy for me to straighten my leg out and bring this leg over. And now from here, I'm gonna drag his foot over and I'm just gonna move my hips out to get him into a half guard position or if he allows me to, all the way into a full guard position. Okay, whether it's a butterfly or a closed guard, all right? So, stopping him from coming up, my hand comes across his waist, my other hand pushes, and my left leg, because it's the way I'm gonna to escape to, flattens out, right? My elbow, bringing on the inside of his elbow, I mean, right on the inside of his knee, and now from here, I'm gonna push out with my elbow, at the same time, I'm coming over and I'm trapping this foot. As soon as I trap this foot, it's really easy for me to lift his knee with my elbow, because he's off balance, he's already over my head. And then it's really easy for me to just move my hips over to get that position that I want. Get this underhook or getting back into that guard position. Okay, so let me do it a little bit quicker just so you guys can see. Okay, I don't have to push too hard as long as I'm building that frame. That's the important part, right? And then getting my hand on top is a good important piece, but not as important as getting that elbow to the inside of that knee, and now I can push out a little bit, and I just move my hips to the other side as I'm pulling my right leg through to get back to the half guard. Okay, so let's work that, and then we'll move to the 